Hi everybody, this is another quick video about my wind simulator. Uh, today I'll be showing you the effects of the wind straighteners on the wind simulator. So over here you'll see I've got an anemometer set up which will measure the wind speeds from the wind simulator. So as you can see around here I've got it lined up directly with the fan on the left here. So what I will do is I will compare the wind speeds with and without the air straightener on it. So I'll just walk back around to my fans again. And I've got them wired up to run at full speed. So we'll just connect them up to the battery here. It's just about to get loud. Okay, and we'll turn the wind sensor on. Okay, so at the moment we're reading about 23 kilometers per hour and we will now go and grab one of my air straighteners. Now I'm going to use my bigger one here. So this will just go on over the top of the fan like so. And then you'll see that the wind speed is now up at 29 k an hour. So we'll remove it. And it's gone back down to 21. And we'll put it back on. And it's gone back up to about 30 k an hour. So now I'll switch over to just my smaller one. This is just a 25 mil one. So we'll put this on and we'll see what effects that makes. So here we have it with no air straightener on at the moment. And we're getting 22, 23. So I'll put the air straightener on and we're getting about 26 to 27 k an hour so even with these small ones you see quite a difference so I'll just shut the fan off now and I'll show you a bit more about the wind straightener so this is my main one I use it's 100 mil long and the honeycomb inside extends halfway up so it's uh, 50 mil of honeycomb and then 50 mil of open tube so the idea of this is when the wind comes off the blades it's swirling and turbulent so what these will do is as they go through the honeycomb then it will set it into a nice linear flow so the air will spend less time sort of circulating like that and more time traveling straight forward towards you so as you get further away without the air straighteners then the air will just air speed will just dissipate where this sends it into more of a focused beam so then the wind will project out and it will feel a lot stronger now seeing yeah increases from about 23 can hour without them to around about 30 with one like this on it and then the little one doesn't quite have the amount of straight area to get the wind flow quite perfect. So you get about 27 uh, k an hour of this. But even just with this one over the front there, you still do see quite an increase in wind speed. Uh, when the wind simulator is running, you, you can feel that quite a lot. It's uh, quite noticeable, especially with the bigger ones. It feels considerably stronger. The only downside is that the beam of air isn't as wide, so you've got to angle them really well towards you. Um, as long as you do that, then you get a really, really good increase in the amount of wind. So I hope this has been helpful if you uh, decide to make one of these wind simulators yourself. Uh, if you've got any questions about either the wind simulator or the airflow straightener, just uh, give me a yell. Okay, see ya.